Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome back to my channel. We like to talk a lot about tea here. So I have a um, new to me uh, tea company to share with you all that I am so excited for because their aesthetic and artwork and tea is just phenomenal. <laughs> um, they are called Many Worlds Tavern and they are specifically tea and coffee designed for game night so like tabletop game night so it comes in large packages designed to share with your friends they do have samples they have um one ounce samples that are five dollars which is a great price for one ounce of tea um so you can try everything out uh, that way. I have not tried their coffee. I don't drink coffee, so I cannot say anything on the coffee. But <laughs> on the tea side, um, I did get a um, good kind of variety of their stuff, uh, picking up some samples and some larger bags because I knew I was probably going to want them. The larger bags come with the full artwork, the sample bags, come with the artwork but in black and white so keep that in mind um, if you really love the artwork go ahead and get the big bag <laughs> um, so yeah so they're designed for tabletop so they want you to share with your friends and they're very um, gaming and fantasy themed so their biggest theme is cats so this is their little kitty logo. Um, actually, technically, okay. This, this is their logo. Their Mini Worlds Tavern logo with the kitty. But this is their D20 kitty cuteness. This is a sticker, and I ended up getting two because I was like $2 away from free shipping. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just get another sticker and get free shipping. Um... <laughs> So he's so super cute. There's cats hidden in all the artwork and there's just cats everywhere and it's glorious. <laughs> um, especially because my daughter is so obsessed with cats right now. So unboxing this, she flipped out with all the cats. So it was super fun. So the um, first big bag I got was their chamomile, which is just straight up chamomile because I love me some chamomile so much and I've been craving it a lot lately. Um, it is just so wonderful to just unwind and calm at the end of the day. It's great. So yeah, a giant bag of chamomile is totally something I needed. So this one's got this kind of like ruins artwork and it's got this cute little kitty, just not focusing. Cute little kitty. Um, so the chamomile is a 2.5 ounce because chamomile takes up a lot of space. So a little bit of chamomile goes a very long way. Um, so it has little, uh, it's actually, this is called slumbering meadows. It's not just chamomile, it's called slumbering meadows. And so it's got this whole description here and under the flap, if you unroll it, it has the cat's brew suggestion for how to brew their teas. And it's sealed up real nice, and then it has this to reseal it. Um, so I haven't actually opened this yet, but it's gonna be chamomile, <laughs> and it's gonna be probably good quality chamomile, so it's gonna be good. The one that I was most excited for and why it took me so long to order from this company is because it was out of stock, is their Nectarine Stream. Actually, is this called Slumbering Meadows? Because this isn't what that says on the back. Because what this says on the back is not the name. I don't know. I think that's what that one's called, but this is not what this one's called. Because uh, this one is Nectarine Stream, and just the artwork alone is what I needed. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't really care. Like, I'm sure I'm going to like the tea, 
but I really want the artwork so I need to get the big bag so I can get this artwork because there are dragons harvesting cherry blossoms with a cat with a cat but yeah dragons harvesting cherry blossoms and it's like how gorgeous is this artwork they also have some other products with their artwork on it as well um, so if you really like the artwork you can get some of it on other things um, and you can get the cat d20 on other things too but those things aren't really in stock right yet because they have a mug that is gorgeous that I want but it's not in stock okay anyway um so this is a white tea blend this is three ounces because again white tea is big so <laughs> it takes up a lot of space most of like their black tea blends and things they're like bigger amounts like seven ounces um so this one is white tea organic quince or quince 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 yeah uh, <laughs> natural peach flavor organic peaches organic essential orange oil and essential tangerine oil and it smells sublime y'all it's great oh and by the way their qr code is even a kitty yeah hidden cats everywhere so again, it has the brewing instructions. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get, kind of show you guys the tea. Ah, I'm throwing tea on the floor. Anyway, okay, you can't really see it. Never mind. <laughs> but wow, the smell is just knock you in the face. Powerful. It's it's intense. So you want to keep this one locked up tight so that that all those scents don't go away anyway so yeah this was what i was looking most forward to and this is what i have brewed up right here it comes to this gorgeous yellow color that was probably too hot <laughs> Yeah, it's like this white, and you, you definitely get the white tea, and I'm thinking I'm getting tangerine first. Here, um, when I, I, I already brewed this up once, and it wasn't strong enough, so I don't think I used enough tea the first time. Because with white tea, you definitely, like, it's hard to judge white tea, so you really should weigh it. And I didn't, I didn't this time either, I just added a lot more. <laughs> um, but yeah, so definitely get... Definitely get some tangerine orangey flavors in here. I'm not sure if I really get peach yet, but maybe peach might be on when it gets a little cooler. It definitely doesn't smell as strong brewed up. Like that, smelling that, you think it's going to like knock you down with how powerful the flavor is going to be, but it's really not. It's pretty light, and white tea is usually, in white tea you want to expect to be kind of light and just calming. It is a low caffeine tea. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely just nice, light, white, and fruitiness, just peaceful, like really kind of reminiscent of the artwork, just nice peacefulness. Okay, let's cool that down and um, I'll try it again later. Uh, okay, uh, else I got? I got their Verdant Harbor, which is their um, jasmine green tea. So uh, these have the brewing instructions up top here. Um, so I haven't had um, a jasmine green for a while, so I wanted to get one to try out and I really love the artwork on this one too and I wasn't sure if the samples were going to have it on it or not but it's like in the black and white it is nothing compared to how gorgeous this one is it's so pretty um if nothing else go check out their artwork um so jasmine green and then I got their morning mists which is their British British breakfast just general yeah just breakfast black tea it's not necessarily British uh, but a breakfast black tea for the morning mist because I like me some breakfast blends and might as well try the breakfast blend out too while I'm at it so that is this I haven't tried either of those and then I got and the uh, sample bags don't reseal so 
you have to figure out your own way to do that. I got their Sacred Springs and wow, smell of this one. This is a cinnamon hibiscus plum tea and it is, it is very unique. Um, it doesn't have, okay, it ha they have the um, ingredients for these ones there, but it's really hard to read because it's printed over the artwork there. Um, but this is cinnamon, hibiscus, licorice fruit, plum flavor. I don't know if there was anything else in it. But what I didn't realize when I ordered this is that cinnamon is the first ingredient. I knew there was cinnamon in it, but it is the first ingredient, which means that is the the, the most prevalent ingredient in how that works. Um, so holy cow, this was so packed full of cinnamon. Like if you are a cinnamon lover, like basically you have to, eh, it's not going to show in color very well. If you are a cinnamon lover, this this is your tea. I am a plum lover. Um, what they akin this to on the site is a mulled wine. And I definitely got that sort of vibe from it. Mostly it's knock you in the face cinnamon. <laughs> but then there's like a fruity back layer to it. It's very nice. Like... Uh, it's not like overwhelm. It wasn't like, I can't drink this. This is so much cinnamon. And it's, it's actually really nice. Kind of all that cinnamon creates a very unique flavor. But if you don't like cinnamon, I would not get this tea. Um, <laughs> the hibiscus, it does, does taste more just like a general fruity, um, back layer for that that kind of gives it that mulled wine flavor but yeah I, I actually really like that way better than I think I, I thought I thought I was going to and that is completely caffeine free so that is great for late night tea um, they do they do both for the super high caffeine like intense game sessions and then super low to no caffeine for the more calm mellow we're at the end of the night game sessions and again, you don't have to play games while drinking this tea. Um, but I definitely kind of like that aspect of inviting your friends all to have a pot of tea and play some games. It's so fun. Um, if you get the full size, you also get these cards that um, tell you all about the tea. So the Nectarine Stream is for your inner child. And it is from Fujian, China. Um, so it gives a little bit of description there. And then the Sleepy Fields, actually it's called Sleepy Fields. Yeah, that's what that one's called. Um, so the Sleepy Fields Chamomile one is for stress relief in a cup. And that's pretty much chamomile. Yeah. And it is from Croatia, uh, which I don't think I've had chamomile from Croatia. Usually I get ones from Egypt. So that could be interesting to see if they're any different. And on the back of these cards are cat characters. We get the cat zombie and the cat goblin. I have no idea if these are always the same per tea or not, but that's super fun. And with a, your first purchase, you get a free D and D um, campaign. So that's really cool, and that's digital. So I don't have that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they have a whole bunch of cool, cool stuff. They have notebooks and apparel, like their t-shirt. Um, the reviews on it are like, oh my gosh, this is the softest thing in the world. And I really wanted it, but I kind of wanted to try their stuff before I bought their merch. Probably will be buying their merch next time. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna try this again. Okay, yeah, get, get some more fruitiness in there. There's a peach, peach, like, kind of on the back end. I do find it interesting that it's nectarine stream, but it's peach. <laughs> I love nectarines. Nectarines are my top stone fruit. Um, so, yeah. 
but very nice. Apparently all my uh, videos here are going to wind up at like 15 minutes, so um, hopefully that's good for you all. I can't do short videos, I'm not good at it, so hopefully you all stick around for my long videos here. Uh, hopefully this was entertaining to you. If you've tried Many Worlds Tavern, let me know down below what ones you've tried or which one of these sound the best to you that you really want to check out. Um, and if you want me to sample any of the other ones on video, let me know that too. Um, so yeah, let me know all those things. Uh, thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.